sex. Hey, I are you? Bro, I'm putting my phone. See you don't do. Good day everyone. Good day. Good day. My name is Dr. Obi. And this is my colleague. We are both from the community police station. Yes, officer. Can we help you? Yes, who is Mr. Nkema Konam? I'm Mr. Nkem. Nkema Konam, actually. Yes. You? Mr. Nkem, you are under arrest. For what? Wait, 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 excuse me. I'm under arrest for, for what? You have a murder case to answer. Murder? Me? Officer, arrest him. From where? Me? I, I don't know how my 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 my, my number became the, the, the last number that, that, that called the boss before he died. I know nothing about this thing. Did you give anyone your phone that day? Think, my husband, think. I have thoughts. Even up till now, I am still thinking. I didn't give anybody my phone. On that day, at the particular time I went to class to teach, okay? When I was leaving, I plugged my phone. My phone was there on the table charging. I went to class, I finished teaching, I came back, my phone was still there, plugged, charging. I didn't, I didn't give it to anybody. According to them, the time your number was used to call the buzzer was around 10 a.m. The exact time you said you were the class teacher. So how come? I don't know. Believe me, I don't know. To make matters worse, a conversation was recorded. A conversation that was had with my phone and the other phone. Between the people who, I don't know who they were, but the conversation was recorded. And believe me, the IPO played it for me. So, what was the conversation all about? The person who had my phone talking to the other person, he asked that guy, he said, do you have the money and the boxer? The person replied, he said, yes. He now said, shoot him. There was a gunshot. After that, that other person, after the shot, he now replied, he said, he is dead. Mr. Kema Konam. Hi. Mother, you're still here? Mother, your husband doesn't want to say the truth. He's making the matter difficult for us. I'm afraid. Uh, Sergeant. Yes, sir. You come and take him back to the cell. Hey, Mr. Man. I'm not. I'm My friend, go! They go now, nah, they go! They go, they go. Why not give up now? Nah. Give up. They go, they go. 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 They go, it is appalling and it is excruciatingly confusing. You know why? The very moment the so called call was said to have been made was a time when Mr. Kamakolam was in the classroom with teacher. So tell me, tell me, how could that have happened? And the most confusing part of this is that those criminals 
called Mr. Inkomai Kalam's name. So they said, yes. I'm still confused and short of words. Why the confusion is happening? It is clear. The police said the criminal called Mr. Inkomai Kalam's name. And as he ordered the killing. As we all know, that Mr. Inkomai Kalam is not in good terms with the boss. It is obvious he might have made the call in right in the classroom or on his way to the classroom just to cover out. Hey! Hey, 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 hey. Are you trying to say that he is guilty or what? You are the one saying this. Thank God the police recorded all his conversations. Shut up your mouth. Even though they're not in good times with Mr. Kima Colum, I don't think he has the heart to hurt an aunt to talk of you or the boss. I know him very well. He's a nice man, so you better watch your tongue. And I know the culprit is somewhere. Why my good friend is in the police custody, suffering for what he does not commit. Can you imagine that? And I ask, why do we have to forgive our enemies when guns are cheap and bullets are rich? Why do we have to forgive our enemies when guns are cheap and pellets? Are cheaper. The innocent man is there in the police custody, cooling off. Whereas the, the, the victim, the evil people, the evil men, the idiots, the nincom books and the scallywags are out there enjoying themselves, flexing away their lives. I pray, may God fight on Mr. Kemal Kolam's behalf. All I know is that the police knows how to get the truth. And soon the truth will be out. It's just a matter of time. The police knows how to find out. Yes, maybe by coming here to arrest every staff in this staff room to investigate how the phone kept under his bed and the left of the was involved in the crime. I believe by then the truth will come out. I concur. Right. I strongly, I strongly concur. Right. Concur. I am proud of my police. But by next week, we will transfer this case to a higher authority. It is a murder case, and we will have our evidence. Hmm. Officer, you see, what the principal is trying to say is that let him be released while the investigation goes on. We are on the same page. But we have lost 400,000 to these criminals. Now we don't even have enough money for the bailout. You will recover your money, sir, once this court is accurate. Or do you want me to transfer the case to a higher authority? No, 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 no. If you transfer to the police headquarters, this will make the case more difficult for us. Did you try speaking with the, the, the principal? I haven't been able to reach him. He said he'll be coming since yesterday. I didn't see him. Did you talk with him? I saw him before coming here. What did he say? He said he can't afford such money for your release. Hmm. You will not blame me more. You already lost 400,000 there. School is not so big now. Money is much. What are you talking about? You're his worker. He's meant to cater for your needs. My love, please. This is not the place for this kind of discussion now. The most important thing is what do we do? How do you get me out of this place? What do we do? I don't know. I don't know what to do. Confused. You know we can't afford such money. I don't know. Oibo. Oibo. So if you will not tell you, you're not gonna say you will use your church money to enter that place, Abi. No, you try and enjoy a good Come on, enter that place. Oh, my wife, how are you? What? 
them police custody what my little nephew no no no, no. what 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 happened okay now what police station is that all right all right all right you just calm down i'll call the video now okay This is um, uh, Ambassador Chief Okoro. I, my, my little nephew is in your custody. I don't know why. I don't know who arrested him. When he released. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Yes, I did you, sir. Sir? Huh? Yes, release him to me. Okay, sir. It is done, sir. Oh my God. So this man has put me in high authority. Everything is done. Please be like me. Anyway, so I go. So I go. Like I said earlier, you don't have to trust anyone. And you have to be very careful with everything that belongs to you, especially your phones. Okay. You are a master degree holder. And I've asked you on several occasions, just mention the firm you will want to work with. And I will go about it. But you have refused based on the fact that you like teaching as a profession. Let me thank you once again, Chief, for all you have done for me. I really appreciate everything. Sir. Um, please don't, don't see it you know, as if I'm disobeying you, sir. I don't know why I just don't want to do any other thing or take any other profession. I love teaching. I think it's my calling, sir. Well, if that is what you want, that's no problem. But don't fail to call me anytime you have difficulties. Okay? Yeah? Thank you very much, sir. Good. What about your family? Oh, they're in the U.S. And the last time I went to the U.S., I was with all of them. And it was really fun. <laughs> So they are still there. Oh yes, they're still there. <laughs> Do I know if they want to come back in? Mister Kemakon, once again we still need your services. I, we are very sorry that we could not come up with the money for your release. Uh, you know we lost the staff. Some serious amount of money. I understand. I understand. I'm also sorry for the loss. I pray that very soon the police will fish out the culprits and bring them to book. Like I said before, and I will keep saying, I don't know anything about this. And that can... We know you are innocent. I know, man. Your hands are clean. <laughs> Oh, please, um, you know, Miss Bridget, she has been talking, gossiping around. I personally caution her, so I don't want you to have a problem with her. Thank you, sir. I'm very sorry. It's okay. Thank you very much. Give me your service. Yeah? Permission to. Ah! <laughs>
Jesus this message. Number is not available. I'm so sorry, eh? I, I couldn't take your call earlier on because uh, I was in a place where I had some people around me. I have to look for a convenient place. Alright. Alright. Yahula Baloo, neither do I have time for any bra of any type. You must look for Mr. Kebakonam and you must find him. Can you listen to yourself? You allow Mr. Kebakonam to escape. You must look for him wherever he is and you must get him back. You must get that money for us. I'm so sure that Mr. Kebakonam will be scared. So he can't come to this place now. Listen, I'm sure he can't return to this place now. You must have gone straight to his house. So I want you to go straight to Mr. Kemakola's house now. Where is that you now? Alright, I'll meet you there in the hood later. I am a businessman, so I do not like bloodshed because blood is a very expensive commodity. But in this case, if need be, I must have to shed blood. The most difficult part in the claim process is making up one's mind because once the mind is made up, Pulling the trigger becomes an easy task. My name is Chima, but they don't know. You made Mr. Kemakalam escaped? You listen to me. Before I get you that job, I warned you. I cautioned you. I told you that I do not belong to the league of men who take chances, even with realities. You gave me your word. You told me you will get the job done. Now you're here telling me that you escaped. Now tell me what happened. I order you. Speak! Calm down. Calm down. We lost him, that's all. You lost him? You lost him? Can you listen to yourself? Can you listen to yourself? You uncircumcised idiot! Now, let me tell you something. Nothing has been heard of that man in school till now. You must go to his house. You must go to Mr. Kemakalam's house this night. You must go tonight! When you go to his house, search everywhere. Search all the looks and carries of his house. Okay? If that man is not in his house, then somewhere in his neighborhood. 
If you fail, if you fail, that means you want to cost me my job. I, I will not take that lightly. Stop it! Cash bro. No serious now. This man. Make me. I'll be how you see him. I enter. So where does he stay? You know, my name is Gina. But they don't know. He stay in there. Oh, one robbers. One robbers, they attack me. Just me, oh God. Were you hot in any way? Are you okay? I'm fine, my friend. Hey! What about the money? Are you okay? I'm so lucky I escaped with the money. I hid it somewhere. I hid it somewhere. Hi! Hi! You know they shot the bike man I was carrying me. Jesus! I'm telling you, they shot him, he died on the spot. Jesus. Then they started coming after me. I had me, I took off, I entered inside the bush. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Do you know, I had a terrible dream about this incident. I tried calling you immediately, but your number was not reachable. Yes, I even tried to call you, I noticed that he had a I must have lost you somewhere inside that bush. <laughs> Take 
Make him not stay the show. Uh, well, actually, none of the staff has any news about him yet. And uh, none of his numerous lines uh, is reachable. I'm actually on my way to school now. When I get to the Citadel of Learning uh, and if something comes up, I shall not hesitate to get back to you. All right. All right. This love is a mystery. Someone close to your hand can be your worst enemy. Someone you got a friend can kill you because of money. There is a symbiotic association between you and Mr. Kimako. In other words, you must have been to his house to check on him. Yes, yes. I was in his house yesterday evening, but everywhere was locked up. I was there. Does that mean that uh, he's trying to run away with his school bursary? No, 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 no. Um, have any of us tried calling vice principal number? Mr. John, that won't be necessary. The vice principal has not been in school for days now because of her ill health. Calling her now and telling her that we will worsen her already deteriorated case. Well, you have a point there. You have a point there. Uh, and uh, you, Miss Bridget, you are not saying anything. My brother, I'm speechless this day. I don't even know what to say. Can we go and see principal now? Sit on this issue. Mr. Chima, the suspect. Alright, well, Mr. Chima, Mr. Chima, you're under arrest. What? Uh, uh, are we under arrest for what? Can you please arrest the officer? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Officer, I think there's a mistake somewhere. Please, Mr. Chima, be a gentleman. Oh, 
Mr. Kabakarov, I am so proud of you. The entire staff, we are so proud of you. Finally, the police, they have arrested uh, the person responsible for the crime. And very soon, they will catch the water and the water. Hey, when I melt, I, I'm shocked. Believe me, I am still in shock. Do you think that Mr. Chima, our own Mr. Chima, can plan such a thing against me? What have I ever done to him? What? Such is life. You know, you don't have to trust anyone. Okay? But that's by the way. Um, we have decided, um, you know, the board will start down, we checked everything. We are so happy the way you handled the whole situation. And um, we've decided to, to promote him to the office of the vice principal academics. Yes. Me. <laughs> Hey, 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 They said he couldn't stand the torture. He couldn't provide the names of his partners. And uh, this morning, uh, they found him dead in the cell. Chima is dead. Hmm, Chima is dead, Doro. That chapter is closed. Wonders shall never end. It's all the same, that serves him right. It does. Of course, that serves him. What he was planning for me, he's gotten it. Went back to him. You gave me something to eat, huh? This life has a mystery. Mr. Kumakana, we are so proud of you, your performance as the Vice President. I've been so wonderful. Excellent. So we have decided to increase your salary. Ah. <laughs> you just hit the nail where you are supposed to hit it. I need that increment. You know how they got you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. There's a conference coming up next week. Now, you're going to present it. Oh, no problem. So, every allowance you for transportation, food, and accommodation for the given Thank you, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I love you so much. Believe me, I can't wait to see that. It's just a week pregnant, and I will really start with this one. <laughs> Warm it up. Warm it up. That reminds me of you. Why not call your uncle Cole so you can start his school to reject to the budget? That way, you can save the retirement. What do you think? Mm. You have a point. You have a point. That'll be very nice. <laughs> Please go, Joe. I insist to call him right away. Call him right now. Call him. Can you get me my phone instead? Okay. 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 Okay.
I remember on all these things. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, yes. My love, my trip was very, very good, very safe and fine. Yes, I'm in my uncle's place now. Ah, he's such a wonderful person, nice man. I'm very comfortable. Look no forward to that. Yes. Anyway, I just called to, to let you know. Uh, I'll just go in now. Yes, I've had something to eat. I'll go in now, take a shower, and I'll rest. And tomorrow I'll go for Thank you very Did you say you need? Thank you, Tyler. Thank you. All right, I will give you 50, okay? Yeah. You can take care of all that things. All right. Thank you. Thank you. My breath is very good. Now say hello to your mother. Okay. You take care of yourself. I read your book. I will do that, sir. Thank you, Ren. Thank you very much. Uh, sir, this boy, is he related to you? Oh, not at all, not at all. Well, <laughs> part of those that I have most times here. Huh. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't even know what to say. Your generosity knows no bounds. Since morning, people have been putting into your compound and you keep giving people money and helping them. God will bless you, sir. Amen, amen. You see, all you need to do in life is to do the right thing and keep your hands clean. And God will bless you just as He is already blessing you. You said you will be going to the conference tomorrow? Yes, sir. I'll be traveling to Europe this evening. It's a government emergency. You know, when, as an ambassador, when duty calls, I can't say no. So, and then I'll come back in two days' time. I hope you'll have been able to round up with your conference when I come back. And then I will give you money for you to go back. <laughs> <laughs> You've already done so much. <laughs> ah, since I arrived, you the welfare, the hospitality. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You see, helping people is my hobby. I enjoy it so much. And I'll do more for you. Why don't you sip your drink? <laughs> Thank you, sir.
it. What? Oh, who? Young one, you are welcome to the brotherhood of love, the temple of the deity. Yes, please, don't kill me. I don't know how I got here. I don't know who you are, but please, you could tell them, please, just let me go. Just let me go. Don't kill me, please. Once you step your foot in this place, there is no going back. Please, Master. Please. I wish to use my life as sacrifice in his place so he can go back. Let him go back. Master, please. Please. Chief Okoro, you sound as if you don't know the rules of this brotherhood. There is no amount of sacrifice that can change it. He is now one of us. Please. 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 Please, please. Ekulele. Ite isa. Young man. Everything happened. For a reason. Now look. Guys, the corporate is an income pool. It's a scaly one. It's an entity. And it's a white end sepulchre. But that's not what brought me here today. I am here to tell you that the idiot will be going to the bank 8 a.m. tomorrow. You know what to do. Baba, we don't hear. Please don't forget that the vice principal does not give room for mistakes. You must cross all your T's and dot all your I's. If you make any mistake, it will not be swept under the carpet, but you all will be made to pass through the process. I am done talking to you. Baba, you know they are what? See you guys when the deed is done. My name is Chima, but they don't know. You got it. I feel a cash bro. It's not a lady. Sex. What did he do? Guys, I'm off to class. Life is a mystery. This love is a mystery. Someone close to your heart can be your worst enemy. Someone you've got a friend can kill you because of money Someone close to your heart can be your worst enemy Someone you call a friend can be your worst enemy uh, Mr. John, I'll be back in a jiffy. Alright. Your sister can kill you because of money so called wife or husband can destroy you. Trust nobody. Trust nobody. This 
life has a mystery No one knows tomorrow I'm so dead of me Nice doing business with you guys. Cash, bro. Sex. I'm in front of your house. Okay, I'm waiting. Mr. Chima. And our vice principal, ma'am. This is your share. The boys have been settled. Thank you so much, ma'am. I'm so grateful. You did a perfect job. Madam Vice Principal, ma'am, you know you can always count on me. Let the idiot rot in the cell. He has the guts, the audacity, the impudence, the impetus, and the effrontery to make himself a force to be reckoned with in this school. Let him rot in cell. Huh? Thank you. You deserve to die. As far as I remain in this school, I'll make sure I frustrate you. Kemakolam. 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 I have tried everything possible for you not to try to take over my position because of intelligence, but he refused. I command you to die in an accident on your way back from Abuja. This I said. Die! 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 <laughs> You have seen the world. You have known the world. And now the world is in your palm. You can become indestructible. Iteite Isa! So this is who you are. Eh? This is who you are. This is what you do. Every day you, you, you preach to me about living a good life. You preach to me about being a good person, about helping people. About taking church activities seriously. You talk to me about reading the Bible. So this is who you are, Uncle. You are a ritualist. On your way, go give one go. See, I, I, I couldn't have brought you into this fraternity. This is one fraternity I will not want any member of my family to belong to. Because I know the consequences. I didn't bring you into it, okay? You see, you did it, please. With due respect, sir, I don't know what you're talking about. What I want to hear now is this. How do I get myself out of this thing you put me in? Let me get myself out of it calmly. Take myself back to the village. Please. How? You see, there's nothing anyone can do about it now. Because once your foot touches the, the, the fraternity kingdom, there's no going back. Because if there is, you saw I was giving my own life for you so that you can go back. I wanted to give my life for you. Why didn't you tell me that this is what you do? Eh? 
before I started coming here, I told you I was coming to Abuja. Why didn't you tell me that this is what you do? I would have stayed in one cheap hotel. I finished what I'm doing now. I, I get out of this town. Why didn't you tell me? But you shouldn't have gone to open that door or even to touch anything in that room. But if you fail to comply, by the time you get to the village, you will find your wife and your born child dead. And a few days later, you will follow. And the same thing will happen if any ear hears it. I mean, the full dilemma. I don't know what to do. If an if an so she's life. Me to this town. But I charge you, I don't stay back in the door. Hi. I can't even change my mind. If I try to run away, they will kill me. And they will kill my family. Yes, I'm fine. I'm fine. Um, <clears throat> I called to let you know that I'll be leaving Chief Okoro's house in a few minutes. Yes, I'm coming back today. I'm fine. Um, Chief, Chief is a uh, he's such a nice man. Okay. All right, I'll see you soon. Sure, I will. I love you. Perfect call. So she'll be expecting you. I told you the plan would work out perfect. Send message that goes to the family. Hello? Hello? Oh. Uh, um. What? That my husband had an accident? Which hospital? No. 
here for the patient that had an accident on the express road yesterday and was brought here. Um, uh, uh, madam, just um, calm down, please. Just calm down. Are you talking about Mr. Ankemakolam? Yes, doctor. It's my husband. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I see. Um, madam, please just, like I said, just calm down, please. I would um I would love to see you outside please. This way please, this way. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Kemakolam suffers a spinal injury. Which might make him not to walk again. Right now, he's in coma. What? Doctor, am I husband in what? Oh my God. Take it easy, man. Please, take it easy. Your husband needs immediate surgery. But we still have good news. Yes. Madam, the good news is that um, one, one Chief Okoro has volunteered to pay his bills and sign on his behalf to fly him abroad for the operation. So oh you see, you need not to worry about the payment. Really, Doctor? Yes. That's my husband's uncle. Oh, really? Yes. Thank All you, so you need to do for your husband is to pray for him so he survives the operation, okay? He will, doctor. Amen. Thank you so much. I'm happy to see smiles on your face. Thank oh, God. It's okay. Everything will be alright, okay? Thank you so much, doctor. You're welcome. Excuse me, please. All this happened to us. Please don't Jim. Don't die and leave me and your unborn child. I believe she'll come out and just walk to you and she. Please don't die. No man walks into his destiny backwards. What eyes cannot see, mouth cannot speak. Mr. Ikem, it's time for you to join him into the land of say your wish and it shall come to pass. I will always be behind you. You should not. Oh, 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 oh. 
Henceforth, you will be proud to stand in the midst of the crowd to call yourself a man. And not only that, you are also a member of this great table of men. Drop it on the table. Now go and sit down. Wise one, because five of you are not five, not four, not three, not two, but one in unity. Speak to us. The content of this sport. And
is nice. Oh, good, good. Wow. Did you get it? Yes, I brought the items. I'm so dead of Thank you very much, too. Nice in business with you. Thank you. Uh, we, can, we can do better. Always available. So you can always call me. Oh, I items. I know. Thank you. Taking my baby room. I'm so dead of me. It's more than the devil you know. I'm so dead of me. It's more than the devil you know. Date Asa As I drink these uncountable My dear, that is something you don't know about men. Some men are very lazy to do anything. Some are not romantic as I am. You see, I am doing all these things to prove to you that I love you. And moreover, it is not good for one to be using tissue or water to paint up after making love. You're only making my head swell. Stop it. All this your phrases. That is to show you that I truly love you from my heart. Seriously? Yes. <laughs> like I said before, it is quite unhygienic for one to be using water or tissue to clean up. So that is why I act in this form to demonstrate to you the level of love I have. You're truly my love. Come here. <laughs> That's it. That's oh, it. I, I love, love you so well. I love you too. And I'll do everything to keep you with me. I love you. Okay. Great God of wealth, I come to you in obedience. As I place my palm over this container, which is 
I put the luck, talent, and destiny of every young man or woman that I shall shake hands with this moment. I shall be stronger, and wealthier than all of them. And because I gave them my money, I help them in any way. Every of their destiny, their love, their wealth shall be paid on this continent, and no man shall lose it. Every good thing that comes their way shall be diverted to me, while every of my sickness, sadness, sorrow, death shall become theirs.
Let every bad thing that will come my way be averted to death. Eternity is sad. Eternity is sad. Ahu, ahu, ahu. The great wise one. <laughs> You're coming back tomorrow. Oh my god, <laughs> I can't wait to see you. I really missed you so much. Yes. <laughs> All right, take care. I love you too. Bye. Yes. <laughs> To go and cost a fatal accident to Mr. Nkema Kolon so that he would die. But he did not. To rather bounce back to my person who had an accident and die at the spot. Now I heard he's back from his surgeon abroad and he's coming back home tomorrow. I have doubled my sacrifice. I want you to go and cause another fatal accident so that he would die. <laughs> <laughs> Die! <laughs> Yeah, so hey, it's good to be back home. As you can see, I'm fine. Yes, you look Hail good. and hearty. Thank <laughs> you. All thanks to the white god. And of course, to the white people who treated me, the white doctor. Special thanks to the chief. Thank you very much, sir. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank the wise god. <laughs> um, let me get you something to eat. I prepared a delicious meal when I heard my husband was coming back. Oh, that will be all right. What kind of a god are you? That you want to destroy your own subjects? I asked you to go and kill Mr. Kemakola. I had to double my sacrifice for
for you to go and destroy him. I kill my son, my last son, which you did. Now tell me, what kind of a god are you? I cursed the day I brought you to my house. I cursed the day I started serving you. You have destroyed my family. But since you want to destroy me, I've destroyed everything I have. I have to destroy. I'm good friend. I'm happy to see you alive. Thank you. You are welcome back. We all miss you in the school. Both the students, all of us in the staff room, all of us miss you. You are welcome back. Thank you. I missed everyone too. In fact, what you just said now is exactly what the principal told me a few hours ago. He said everybody missed me. But, Kamal Kalam, what baffles me is about the accident. Um, I was expecting to see marks um, from stitches on your body, but I never see anything. For your information, just in case you forgot it, I was treated by white people. Daughter, they can turn a man to a woman, woman to man, anything. Ah, those people are too much. That's why no scratch, not a qua, no problem. You know, that was the question I asked him when you showed me the pictures. I was very surprised. Look at him. Thank God. Uh -huh, that reminds me, the VP admin, I heard she's going through a lot right now. Uh, my wife even told me that she lost her son, is it true? <sighs> yes, my brother. Even yesterday, she lost her second son. This yesterday. Yes. Oh my God. Are you serious? Yes. Uh, baby, maybe later on I will go and visit her. Okay, dear. We will. 
Anyway, on a lighter note, let's get you something to drink. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything. Anything. John can have an idea. Oh, Jesus. So, my brother. Hmm? Oh, you go with my brother. Right. Look at you. Look at you. <laughs> Baby. Baby. Welcome, lady. Thank you. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. Did you miss me? I did. Why not? <laughs> I missed you too. I'm yes, I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I have inside here? What? Calm down. <laughs> Let me tell you what happened in school today. The principal, the staff, and all the students, they came to me to sympathize with me over the accident. Things that they happened. The principal gave me 100,000 naira. 100,000 naira. Mm -hmm. Not just that, the staff, they gave me 50,000 naira. Really? Making it 150,000 naira. Uh -huh. Oh, not just that. The students now contributed. I don't know how much they did. put everything together and they gave to me. That is what I have desire. Are you serious? That's really nice of them. Hmm, great news, oh, great news. You need to see, they were now begging me to stay back in the school. You know me now. Start doing shaka. <laughs> I trust you. <laughs> hey, thank God. Uh, hey. Uh, I am really, really happy for you, my love. Ooh. Meanwhile, you must be very hungry. Let me get you something to eat. Ah, I'm very hungry. I but before you. that, let us thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go right. get you some things to eat. Get it, it fast. <laughs> ah! 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 Stop worrying yourself. Hmm? God will give you your own son that will stay. Hmm? He gives and he takes. Please stop crying. Don't worry. Don't worry. Why? Why will my own be different now? Hmm? See people having children everywhere, however they like. I mean, why can't I have my Why? Your own is not different. Huh? God will provide answer to your prayers. Just relax. Eh? Oh, madam, stop crying now. Hmm? Madam, stop crying. It's okay. It's all right, madam. Let me see my friend just across the street as well. See which friend? Which one is which friend? My friend now, Tom, across the street. Which friend? Your friend that has children. What do you mean the one that has children? Uh, if he has children and so? You, do you have any? Don't you feel ashamed? Don't you feel anything going over there? Am I God that gives children? Eh? Am I God that gives children? This is the fourth pregnancy we've lost in barely a few months. Not one, not two, not three, but four babies. What kind of a thing is this? 
I suggest you call in a man of God to know what's going on. No. What do you mean by no? I said no. No man of God. What do you mean by that? I need a man of God. We need to know what's going on. I need to know why I'm having all this miscarriage. There is nothing wrong. Calm down. People have miscarriages every day. And even from tomorrow onwards, you will still have miscarriage. I have a friend. The wife lost five babies. Five. By the sixth one, she conceived. Now she, they have over three children. Then one will live with kids. We Cool are down. We are not your friends. We are not your friends. We are different people. I want children. I need to know what's going on. Call in a man of God. Please. Ah, no man of God. God will give us time. I pray, you pray. So let's keep praying. At his own appointed time, he will give us children. I don't care about God's time. I want to know right now. And if you do not call in a man of God, this house is going to be very uncomfortable for the both of us. Okay, okay. Alright, fine. Fine. I'll get a man of God. When? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yes. Tomorrow? Are you sure? I said I will call a man of God, a very powerful man of God, who will pray. If that will make you happy, I'll bring him. Because if, if I don't see anybody here, this house will be very, very uncomfortable, and I mean it. Ah, uh, it's okay. Huh? Told you I'll call a man of God. Hmm? So, come down. Oh God, please forgive me in every way I have sinned against you. As Mr. Kemakalam has forgiven me of every evil act I did to him. Please God, may you forgive me. Who is the person? A woman that has been eating your unborn children. A woman? Yes. Who is this woman? She will teach her right? Yeah. She's been the one responsible for all your problems. I want to tell you something. She wants to strike. What this three round she will source. But the Bible says that the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. Did you believe in God? God loves you, and that is why he wants to establish you. On that rock that will never shake. But you have to do something for God. God wants you to leave this place for sitting here. That's where he wants to establish you. Jesus, in as much as these people have come to you this minute, Jesus bless them. Father bless them. Amen. Amen. Father bless them. 
open the gate of success for them. Amen. Amen. Father, speak against any tongue that will speak against them. Amen. Father, bless them. Amen. Oh. Right on, Pastor. Wine spirit. Amen. I still can't believe that our vice principal has been the one responsible for all the robbery incidents in this school. Yes, she also confessed how we tried to kill him. That all the accidents he had, he is responsible for all the accidents. Now, wow, wonder she never sees. So, my VP is dead. The news is all over the place in this school. Why are you not in your classes? I don't have class now. I just finished my period now. You don't have classes? You just finished your period? Yes, sir. Okay. Where is Mr. Kabako now? Um, he is in the class with teaching. Let him come and see me in my office. Huh? Yes, sir. Let him see me really after. Huh? Yeah? My uncle has offered to get me a better job in Abuja. Mm. Yes. Hopefully I'll be going to Abuja maybe tomorrow to see him. I pray it works out. Once that works out, this will have enough money to leave this village to Abuja. He said the pay will be very good. May God bless your uncle for me. Amen. He's really been a, a big help to us. Well, since it's for good, I don't have a problem. Mm, it's for good, oh my love. It's for good because we've really suffered in this village. Really, it's, it's, it's time for us to leave. And even the pastor said it. He said that we need to leave this village. That God has greener pastures in store for us somewhere outside this village in the city. So we should start working towards it. It's okay. What can I do? Mama, I see the same here, sir. I fit to anything. Now make you just mention. Are you serious? So, do you mean if I ask you to do anything, you'll be willing to do that? <laughs> Mama, eh? I'm business. Ah, you, what can you do? At Sabi. The work well done. You don't need to ask. Okay. Beautiful lines. Ajibo. Ma. Are you sure these girls can do this job? Ah! These girls, they be pro professionals. Oh, no, they look this, they are young, innocent faces, so like I said, they're virgins. Yes, I'll be the work, oh. You take them to where they're supposed to be. Standing by. Babes, let's go. Come 
consider it done. I trust you. <laughs> it's okay. Um, so, what about the cash? Oh, <laughs> come on! Okay, great. Just carry on the business. I promise I'll put it to your account. Is that okay? It's okay. I trust you. Consider it done. <laughs> Business very well. Yes, yes madam. Hair. Yes, yes madam. Yes, That's very okay. Okay, there is a room over there. That's your room, okay? Just go there and drop your bags. I will attend to you later, okay? okay. Yes, Thank madam. You. Thank you, madam. Lady Joy, what do you seek from the Great Master? Great Master, I seek expansion in my business. <laughs> I seek popularity. Great One, I want to be known. Behind every great achievement lies a great sacrifice. I am ready to do anything. Just name it. You will have to pound the five months old baby in your sacred mortar. Pound! Till it turns blood. Then I shall make your desire a reality.
You see that madame. That madame beauty. Oh. Eh? You find that woman fine. Hey! You think they sleep with me? I want to be like her. You sure? Me, yeah, as I don't come this house, no more going back. That madame. A few months now I give myself. I give him better pass than madame. Ha! Yeah. But wait, oh. wait, wait, wait. See, eh? As I come this house, uh, my name na is Ego. And you know, as my name is Ego na, I don't come this house. I be a coupon. <laughs> and Madame talks something. Say, uh, if you born boy, you will get two hundred thousand. Money <laughs> big. And if you born uh, girl, he will give you hundred thousand. Uh, but me, I won't go on boy, boy, boy. Because if you call my family, eh, my mama won't eat. Eh, so me, I go born like that. Plenty, plenty boy. Eh, so my money go plenty. This I like. Mama born to wear eh? Me, I go born twice. Eh? Get them. Two, two hundred thousand. Two hundred. Hey! Twenty million thousand! Why <laughs> <laughs> hey, you want to take one three? I won't go and already as I came I can't even say. Hey! Now you now you won't bond twelve. Hmm. You you won't bond twelve. Hmm. I beg you. What is your name then? Uh, uh, I don't talk and before. Uh, my name is uh, EJ. Oh Gagia. Yeah. I talk, I don't come away that before. Shut up! Shut up! Lady John.